Today in this video we are going to talk about sloping agriculture land technology. In hill area generally the top soil that is the fertile soil get easily eroded during heavy rainfall and the soil erosion is the major problem that the farmer have to face every year. Due to this the farmer have to face several consequences related to production. Same thing happens in Philippines. The farmer in the hillside area in every year they have to face the consequences of soil erosion. To solve this problem Mindano Baptist Rural Life Center conducted a program that is called Asian Rural Life Development Program. Through this program they tested different cropping scheme in those areas along with epilipil based farming system. They have to select the best cropping system among uh, all the tested system and while testing they observed that the epilipil based farming system was better among all those cropping schemes. Later on due to this epilipil based farming system the salt was finally verified and this was completed in 1978. After the salt get recognized this technology was disseminated worldwide. In every country where there are farmers residing in the hill area they got this technology and they observed that they have a great result. After the salt was recognized in 1978, various other forms of salt were also introduced to solve the problem in every ecological zones. So the first one is an agroforestry scheme that is salt one. In this system, the farmer have to plant permanent crops. The permanent crops include coffee, citrus, cocoa and other crops. Cereal crop, maiden crop, and some other crop. So, suppose this is the steep slope, and these are the counter lines. Counter lines. Then, and this is the straps. So, this permanent crop, coffee, citrus, should be planted at the bottom of the hill. And the cereal crops should be planted in the other area, other remaining areas. And the legume crops should be rotated along with cereal crop. Means, once we crop legume crop and then we have to rotate with these cereal crops. This will help to uh, maintain the soil fertility of the soil. So basically this agroforestry scheme says that the farmer need to plant different types of crop that will retain the soil fertility that will help solve the problem of soil erosion and that will help fix the nitrogen in the soil. The another one is simple agro livestock technology that is salt 2. Previously we have discussed salt 1 and now this is salt 2. The livestock are reared along with food production. So, the overall land use in this system is 40% for 40% for food production purpose food production purpose 20% for forestry forestry and 
फोर्टी परसेंट फॉर रियरिंग लाइफ स्टॉक रियरिंग लाइफ स्टॉक लाइफ स्टॉक नाउ एम हंड्रेड परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट इज यूज फॉर फूड प्रोडक्शन ट्वेंटी परसेंट फॉर फॉरेस्ट्री एंड फोर्टी परसेंट फॉर रियरिंग लाइफ स्टॉक एम लाइफ स्टॉक द बेस्ट वन is to be dairy goats and in this system this food production forestry and uh, rearing livestock are done in separate plot or the strips so initially the farmer have to use 40% of his land to produce food 20% to plant the forest trees for timber and firewood and 40% of the land will be used by farmer for rearing livestock that is the dairy goats most of the time now the third one is salt 3 that is sustainable agroforestry land technology in this system the farmer can incorporate food production food production food production and forestry forestry that can be marketed can be marketed or from where we can generate income so the farmer can use some portion of his land for food production and some portion of land can be used for fruit production and also along with food and fruit production the some area should be separated for planting forest trees for generating timber wood and from marketing those timber or wood the farmer can also generate income through selling them also about 1 hectare of for production of forest is about 1 hectare of about 1 hectare of land should be used to grow short range production for firewood and charcoal that means from this forest trees we can the farmer can also get the short range production that means the firewood or charcoal using this firewood they can sustain their living now the fourth one is sal four that is a small agro fruit livelihood technology in this cropping scheme generally a small land holding farmers can use this technology not more than half hectare of the land area should be used in this cropping scheme where two third of the land area should be used for fruit trees planting and one third of area should be used for food crop production now the hedge rows of different nitrogen fixing trees and shrubs are planted along the counter lines along the counter line where there are two hedge rows among those two hedge rows different nitrogen fixing trees such as epidipil sisbania should be planted that will fix nitrogen to the soil and also that will work as a adding nitro, uh, organic matter to the soil recently we have discussed about the forms of various forms of this Uh, sloping agriculture land technology now we are going to discuss about the objective so what are the major objective of this sal technology the conversion of hill land into green and stable land that means this technology will help farmer to convert hill land or their farm into green and stable land 
to increase productivity of the slopey land the steep slope or the land that farmer own in the hill side area they need to increase the productivity through this self technology also this technology will help farmer to enrich the soil and reduce soil erosion while reducing the soil erosion they need to apply this technology and this will also conserve the soil moisture soil moisture conservation is the critical process or the soil management practices during crop production if the farmer can maintain the soil moisture also that will help in crop production also to reduce pest and disease and to reduce the need of expensive inputs such as chemical fertilizer chemical pesticides this technology is very much effective now there are several crops or trees that can be used in salt suppose coffee and citrus this coffee and citrus can be used as a permanent source while planting in strips also sismania cashew nut acts as a boundary trees where between the hedge rows this sismania and cashew nut can be planted as a nitrogen fixing trees also pineapple ginger castor bean melon sorghum act as a rotational crop this crop can be rotated with cereal crops or other crop also the moong bean peanut act as a nitrogen fixing legume along with moong bean peanut cowpea or other nitrogen fixing legume crop can be used now the farmer who want to adopt this sloping agriculture land technology need to follow these basic steps basically there are 10 steps that farmer need to follow while practicing this cropping scheme so the first one is making an a frame so what is a frame a frame means this is like letter a that can be used for marking the counter points to make counter lines so the farmer can use local resources like bamboo stick to make an a frame they need two bamboo stick of 2 meter and one bamboo stick of 1 meter and by using this bamboo stick they can make like letter a and in between the structure there is a hanging string that helps to locate the exact middle point of this a frame or that will help to maintain the slope and also the farmer can use the carpenter's level to locate that exact middle point of this a frame while maintaining the slope now the second step is locate the counter line using this a frame the farmer can locate different counter line and then the after the counter line has been located they need to prepare the counter line suppose this is two row counter line they need to plow and add fym or other fertilizer to enhance soil fertility and the farmer need to plant the seeds of nitrogen fixing trees or shrubs in between these counter lines this will help to bind the soil and this will prevent the soil erosion also this will differentiate the different slope of the steep land now the next step is to cultivate the alternate strips why suppose this is the steep slope or steep land and these are the counter lines these are the counter lines and in between the counter line there are slow, uh, there are stripes 
तो फार्मर नीड टू कल्टिवेट दी अल्टरनेट स्ट्रेस अल्टरनेट मीन्स द फर्स्ट वन शुड बी लेफ्ट एंड द सेकेंड वन शुड बी कल्टिवेटेड द थर्ड वन शुड बी लेफ्ट एंड द फोर्थ वन शुड बी कल्टिवेटेड वाई डूइंग दिस अल्टरनेट कल्टिवेशन ऑफ स्ट्रिप्स द एडवांटेज इज दैट दिस अल्टरनेट कल्टिवेशन विल हेल्प टू कंट्रोल दी सोइल इरोजन वाई द नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग थ्री जीज स्टील इन ग्रोथ फेज the after the nitrogen fixing trees are fully grown then the farmer can cultivate each strip accordingly now the sixth step is plant the permanent crops the permanent crops previously we have discussed are coffee citrus and many other crops so other can be like uh, coffee uh, tea and uh, ginger melon etc this permanent crop can be cultivated at the bottom of the stripe this is the bottom this is a stripe and at the bottom of the stripe at the bottom of the stripe this permanent crop can be planted now the plant this short term crop thus this short term crop include corn paddy sorghum other legume crops now this short term crop should be planted at the top of this uh, permanent crops top means now the remaining part should be filled with the short term crop also trim nitrogen fixing hedge rows while preparing the counter lines the farmer have sown the seeds of nitrogen fixing trees and after some year these nitrogen fixing trees will grow up to 2 to 3 meters while the nitrogen fixing rows are fully grown and go up to 1.5 to 2 meter then they should be trim they should be trimmed from the top from the top now after trimming from the top of nitrogen fixing trees those trimmed part should be placed at the base of the plant other plant suppose there are permanent crops short term crops so this trimmed part should be add to the base of this crop that will help aid in the organic matter to the soil now the ninth step is practice the crop rotation now the crop rotation can be done with the short term crop or the nitrogen fixing legumes the short term crop include paddy corn sorghum etc the this short term crop can be rotated with the legume crops to maintain the soil fertility and the last step is to build the green terraces what so uh, while establishing this nitrogen fixing hedge rows this will establish a green green counter part and green boundary will help to establish the green terraces now these are the basic 10 steps that the farmer need to follow while practicing this sloping agriculture land technology in their farm